new album. First release on the new label. Before we get into it, because I do want to talk about Hotel TV, what does it mean now to be a part of a Beautiful Mind Records? Yeah, I mean, it's been a really cool experience. So so John Bellion, who um, produced the album along with Clyde, myself, and Jordan Cohen and Johnny Coe and our band, um, he had come upon our music. We had this, like, fortuitous opportunity where we opened for him at a college, like, spring weekend mm-hmm. in North Carolina. And um, we, like, happened to kind of meet him and just say like hey we'll try to keep in touch whatever like hope you're he's doing from well. long island. <laughs> he's from long island in new york and we have a lot of long island roots and so like i think that really that bonded yeah soul that. connection yeah like, when you hear someone's from long island also you get really like our parents are from long island and um one of the guys John. in the band is from long island so like and we spend so much time actually making our albums and recording almost exclusively on Long Island for, for many years. So um, we were like really stoked to talk to him about that and he cares about that a lot. So then, yeah, we ended up just staying in touch. And then a few years later, he kind of dug into our stuff even more and was like, Hey, I'd love to just talk to you guys about like getting involved somehow. And I want to make a label and I want you guys to be the artist that I signed to it. So it was really cool. And, and the label itself is like an awesome thing to be a part of because it's really like I I forget what their like Instagram bio is but it's really just about like creative minds Mm -hmm. and like you know all that stuff that people say that's usually bullshit but it's really not (laughs) in this scenario um because John is like such a real artist and really really cares so um it's been one of those sort of like magical interesting experiences that sort of happened and we're super lucky to to be on that label. What's the pressure like now? So when you put out this album, is there more pressure because you do have the label backing or is it just kind of like another day, another dollar? With the label, ultimately it's still like an independent situation Mm -hmm. because it's just like, although I 100% agree with everything Gracie said about um, it being a great... um, Creative partnership. Great creative partnership for us. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, it's it's still just us and John. It's just still the way it was before, like just us independent. But now we've just added John to the fold, and he's lending his creative expertise and his business mindset and 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 just all the things we his love experience. about having John. His, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we love John for a variety of reasons. But at the end of the day, it still operates very much as an independent band rather than like a band that's on a major level. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. Um, but. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think that that component of it changes the dynamic at all. Um, and we really like being independent for of the reason of like being able to kind of call our own shots and determine the stakes of everything ourselves. Um, but yeah, I think each album release is a little bit different. I felt a lot more pressure releasing our last album, Living Room, than really? this one. I don't know if you agree with that, but I felt like I, I felt like we had kind of like gotten a spark going with our album breakfast Mm -hmm. and then living room felt like a really important inflection point to like um either like get that train rolling steady or like to not you know what i mean (laughs) opposite yeah Um, because and then it i think it did do that for us and so then like it kind of just felt like the train was rolling we were gaining new fans every day we were building something really sustainable so for hotel tv it just kind of felt like, to me, like, I just believed in the songs, I believed in the album, and it was just like, I guess there is a variety of different ways it can go, but it just felt to me like it was just going to be something that kept the momentum Mm -hmm. going, kept new fans coming in, and I don't know, I I felt a little less I think that's a a great mindset, because I feel like, you're right. Like that album was, was in hindsight, probably really important for you to like determine what's going to happen from yeah. here and to have achieved that and like then be comfortable just kind of putting it out and knowing you can trust your fans and liking it. I feel like that's yeah, really there's great. a lot of trust in the yeah. fans. The album's a little different, you know, maybe some of the sounds are different. Maybe some of the choices are a little different. So it is different, but I just felt like people I, would get it. People would yeah. get it. It would bring new people into the fold other people that liked us already will certainly 
not hate it. You know, it's like still it. very much you guys. I yeah. mean, yeah. I can definitely see like you you've changed some things up or you tried some other new things. But yeah. as artists do with new projects, yeah. it's nothing yeah. like you 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 didn't rebrand like a star is born alley doing whatever <laughs> yeah. she did. Like that's but, next. Yeah, Clyde with, <laughs> Clyde with orange hair. Sell out era. It's coming, <laughs> <Yeah>. guys. <laughs>